in a small town where the descendants of the Bushmen roam, a tribe referred to as the Sun, or the Khoisan, a tribe we refer to as Ancestor. In a small town where the heat is dry and the streets are paved with soil, where feet are so at home in the dirt that the earth becomes your shoes. In a small town where every building has a history, from the orange brick of my village's houses to the white corroding walls of our place of worship. As my mind wanders lost in thought, I smell the heat beating on the long tarmac road to the shops. A 45 minute walk, distracted by the beauty of nothing. The beauty of no big city buildings, the beauty of silence nature's silence, a silence that plays the symphony of the Karua Desert, the flow of the Orange River, the wind picking up the dust and raining it upon the people, entombing them in the soil where life began. A small town split in two, a town where two life towels live in tandem, poverty and wealth, black and white, where the footprint of apartheid doesn't need the knowledge of the Khoisan to track, a town where the white man is still often referred to as boss, with echoing phrases ringing out, yes some boss, of course some boss, a town where I was blind to my poverty, a place where the love of your people sometimes fill an empty stomach, a place where community fills the gap of wealth. A place where community carries you forward like the Orange River. No person left behind. We struggle, but we struggle together. Life exists in this place. Freedom of life exists in this town. From the monkeys roaming the trees to the dogs with no owners ravaging through the heaps of garbage. So. I used to sit on my stoop in the cool shadow of the baobab tree, protecting me from the harsh rays of the sun. I pick a pomegranate from my grandmother's tree, and I sit on that stoop. As I used to sit on that stoop, I often wondered if heaven was this sandy desert. As I sit here in Leicester, in a land of riches, sadness befalls me. I'm away from home, I'm away from my culture, the roads don't fit my feet, earth has become alien, my culture meant location, my culture wasn't called South Africa, it was called Priska, and Priska is far from where I am now. But then I realised why I saw beauty in these desert lands, I realised why I was blind to the poverty. I realized why I felt love in a town split by race. The people, my people, me. I am my culture. I am the Bushman. I am the kids playing in the dirt. I am the newborn carrying on a legacy of a beautiful people. I am my neighbour borrowing a cup of sugar. I am the old men telling stories while getting drunker by the hour. I am the laughs me and my grandmother used to have. I am that long tarmac road. I am the orange and white brick. I am the river flowing. I am the monkey roaming free in the trees. I am the cool of the baobab tree, I am the sweet flesh of the pomegranate tree, I am the wind carrying the dust of history. And no matter how far away from home I think I am, my memories, my experiences, they follow me, because I am that small town, I am Priska.